opened up a new document in Procreate and I made it an eight and a half by 11, which is the same size as my printable. And then I went up here to uh, the little wrench, insert a photo, and I grabbed just a screenshot of the worksheet that I had made. Um, so it's ready to go. So then I'm gonna come in here, add a layer on top, and I'm gonna come and hit the end and turn down the opacity of my bottom letters. Ooh, it would help if I turned on the opacity of the right layer. There we go. So it'll make it mine a little bit easier to see. Now, I'm gonna use my favorite brush, which is the um, iPad Letters uh, Pebbles brush. Um, it's my favorite. And let's see, we'll pick a cool color. Let's go fuchsia, shall we? Okay. Um, so now all I'm gonna do is come in here and letter. And just like um, the regular pen, you need to make sure you're going slow and thoughtfully. And it doesn't have to be exact. This is a guide to help you practice. So you still wanna follow those rules of picking your pen up, of following your upstrokes and your downstrokes. And paying close attention to what you're doing. There's a ton of ways to make this like a hide and seek worksheet where you have a cool pattern underneath and then as you letter you reveal a little bit of the pattern. Um, but today I just wanted to show you just kind of the basics. There are a ton of uh, iPad brushes out on the market. Um, some of my favorite brush makers are iPad letters, of course. Um, Stefan Kuntz has some good brushes, uh, Peggy Dean at the Pigeon Letters, Sarah at Hewitt Avenue, um, has a huge set of watercolor brushes, um, and it comes with like a little book and it's actually super reasonably priced. Um, those are some of my favorite, and you can get some for free, but most of them are really inexpensive and, you know, I... A $2 investment to support a small business artist to me is worth it. X, almost to the end. I need to make sure I go back and get my T as well. There you go, you can see that I've got my letters and if I turn off my torch, there it is, um, just on its own. So, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions about iPad lettering, you can uh, drop me a, a comment. I'm happy to help the be as best as I can.